and let us know. Oh, hey guys, alright, so this is our Engineering 305 project that we've been working on all semester. And uh, it's pretty much the treadmill of both, the treadmill that generates electricity. Joel's going to open up on how we built this thing. Thanks, guys. Well, what we have here is a basic design. We found a treadmill for 30 bucks over at Eco Groovy. And what we noticed was that there's a takeoff wheel on the side that was used for a friction belt. So we decided, wow, we could use that to power our alternator right here. But before we had all of this hooked up, we decided that we were going to go with a different system. And that's this right here. We are calling this the power sled. And the way this was going to work was that this piece originally was connected to our takeoff wheel. When I spun this, it turned my large wheel. Now that wheel, we're going to use an old bike tire. And by the way, guys, all this stuff we found in the trash. So this wheel, trash, this bike frame, trash, this piece of wood, some of this PVC, all found in the trash. This, though, came off my bike, so. Anyway, this was going to be the drive belt. It was going to go around, and this belt was going to come around this pulley wheel and turn the alternator, which we were going to set up. But we found out that the gearing was a little wrong. Um, when we did our math, I don't know, we kind of made a little bit of a mistake and that we were going to overpower the alternator. So instead, we backed away from using the power sled. And we jumped on this system, which is a direct drive. So, um, hooking up the pulley for the uh, generator to our wheel, we use an old truck tire tube, and that's this right here. Basically, cut strips out of it cross-sectionally. Made a bunch of belts. In fact, we have a bunch of spares for this. And that was able to turn the pulley wheel. Finding the right distance away from it was an issue. Locating all the components and making sure it actually was in line um, was another issue. So to talk about the electrical part of it, uh, I'm going to have Aaron take over. And he's going to show you the rest. Okay. So basically, uh, once we got this thing spinning, that opened up the doors for us to use that energy. What we did is, it's just a pretty simple circuit. The uh, energy comes out of the generator into our circuit box, which is kind of messy right now, but never mind that. Uh, what we have in here, though, is a diode that prevents energy from the battery going into the motor and spinning it. And then we have a couple fuses in line, so, we, you know, in case that thing does short, it's not going to do that anyways. But basically, what the generator does is it charges the battery as you're running it. And the battery is hooked up to an alternator up here. I'm sorry, an inverter. And on the inverter, you can see that we have your wall plugs, we got USB, it charges everything. Also on here, we put a meter on there. So you can see how much energy you're actually producing as you run at a, at a brisk pace. But uh, I hooked it up before the voltage regulator that's inside there because the voltage regulator will prevent anything going above 12 volts, putting too much power into the battery. But here on the meter, you can see that as fast as I run, I can get up there. That battery's not getting that, but it just gives some people to see, you know, what their work is producing. And it's quite easy. You can run it all day, so... That's, that's the effect of this thing here. You know, and you, the thing about this, the cool part, is you can charge stuff even while you're not running and drain the battery a little bit. And then you can run later and not charge things. Buy it back, you know, whatever. Figure it out. So here we go. Charging my cell phone. Not even running. Nope. That's pretty much the electrical portion of it. Yeah, uh, as far as the rest, we wanted to make this out of the most recycled components as we possibly could so that, for example, if you need a new drive belt, we're giving you a whole bounty of rubber to use to make another one. Uh, the battery is the only thing that, you know, that thing's got a, what, a year warranty on that. So if it craps out, uh, you can basically take it back to Interstate and get a new one. Um, all the circuitry is pretty simple. One thing we didn't mention was that voltage regulator. And that basically reduces or limits the amount of charge in the battery. So it does protect that battery. It stays around 12 volts coming out of that into the battery. Uh, other than that, this thing is it's, it's easy, huh? Yeah, and it was fun to build. So It was great to build. Yeah, we liked it. All right, now, hey, we're going to leave it up to you to try this thing out. So go ahead and get on this thing. What do you say? Should we finish these? Let's do it. Yep. Cheers.